Hello, this is Torio and welcome to my newest Let's Play series of Europa Universalis 4. We're going to be playing as Riga and trying the Terra Mariana, I think is the name, uh, achievement, which requires us to control all of the Baltic area as Riga. I'm not sure if we're allowed to form Curland in the meantime. Um, certainly it is going to be relatively difficult because we are super weak. Okay, so I don't have a strategy. I do have some ideas for an opener. First of all, we're going to conquer the Livonian Order, because they're weak. They're also friendly, but it doesn't really matter. And for that we need a strong ally. The strongest in the vicinity should be Poland, provided they get their personal union with Lithuania. They're not uh, willing to accept an alliance, so I'll immediately start improving our relations. Mm, we also get the mission to, improve, to form an alliance with the Livonian Order, which will give us Diplorep. Uh, Diplorep will help us get the alliance with Poland faster, so let's do that. We are going to attack them, but it doesn't matter, since we are going to be declaring war on the Teutonic Order, who always allies the Livonian Order. Now, we could also use a Diplorep Advisor, and here he is. Let's get the Diplorep Advisor. Also, build our army up to the maximum force limit, and reduce army maintenance and fleet maintenance, since we are pretty poor. I will also multiple the fort, temporarily. And that's about it for day one. Let's merge you guys. I don't think you'll survive anyway, if you're forced out of the capital. Mm, and yeah, that's it. We will immediately complete the mission. Oh, right, uh, we are we are a theocracy, so we get free heirs, and we can choose from nobility, merchants, and various types of clergy. And it affects our devotion. I don't know what devotion is necessary for. Um, I know it increases uh, your taxes and prestige. So, it, as it is maxed, we will go with the noble. It decreases our devotion, but gives more loyalty to the nobility. Okay, who is the heir? 231, that's crap. And since we get those heirs for free, I will make him a general. Oh, two siege, that's nice. Alright, um, anything else to do? New missions? Prove relations with the Teutonic Order? No, because we're going to attack them. Yeah, I think we're good. I need to fabricate claims on the Livonian Order, but uh, that can only be done since when December is started. I will. Maybe I should also improve relations with somebody else in the area. Maybe Denmark and Sweden and possibly Muscovy. Hmm. I will improve relations with Muscovy just in case, because we're going to have a free diplomat. Now, when Poland is ready to accept an alliance with us, see, we have a lot of diplomatic reputation. That was minus 20, and now it's only minus 9 because of the diplorep. I will increase the game speed and send the diplomat to fabricate claims on the Livonian order. And I will start with Latgalia because mm, I would like to cut Lithuania off so they can't take anything. And that's about it. Now we wait for Poland to accept an alliance and get their union with Lithuania. The union will be necessary because if they don't get the union, beating the Teutonic and Livonian order together will be difficult. And if they do get the union, that will basically mean that they'll do all the work for us. Alright. So when we're about to get the alliance, I will increase army maintenance and recall the diplomat from Muscovy so he can do it for us. Two more months before we do that. And then we will declare war, as I, I think I said that already, on Teutonic Order with a no CB war, which is a problem. Oh, right. I forgot to set our, um, our focus as admin, because we're going to need a lot of admin to get out of negative stability. What was I saying? Oh, we're at minus three. Let's wait one more month. Still at minus three. Okay. When we're at minus two reasons, I will recall my diplomat and start improving my, increasing my army maintenance. Uh, right, it's time to do it now. I will also unmodel the fort soon. For now, let's get the diplomat so he's ready to uh, form the alliance immediately. And after that, well, we declare an OCB war on the Teutonic Order because if we declare it on the Livonian Order, Poland would not want to help us because they would have no interest in doing that. And they hate the Teutons, so... Oh, and we have a new ruler, again! 
And we need an heir. Um, do I want another noble? Sure, why not? Four, two, three. That's pretty decent. Oh, and now our king is the leader. Let's make the heir uh, the leader. Who's better? Two, two, four, one, two, one, two. I'm inclined to think that one, two, one, two would be useful. But I will go with the two, two, four for now. Because we would like to survive any possible battles. Okay. Now we're waiting for Poland to form their union. I hope they will, because they, they might not. There's a, there's a possibility that they will just ignore the, um, the option of union and go with the local noble. Okay, let's get the alliance. We're now allied with Poland. And now as soon as they form their union over Lithuania, hoping they would, we're ready to declare war. I should probably unmodel the fort. Hmm. Still, it is a capital fort, so even if it's multiple, it still has the basic garrison. So we don't need to do that. It's enough when if we do that when a war is declared. Uh, right, I can fabricate another claim on the Livonian order. Let's do Mitau. And observe. Poland should soon get a... I don't know if it's an event or a decision right now. Okay. And they formed a union. Poland now has the personal union over Lithuania. So what we need to do is... See, if we wanted to declare war on... Well, I, I tested it before. Basically, Poland has no interest. And they want, mm, they want to agree. But if I declare war on the Teutonic Order... Poland, if promised territorial gains... Will actually join. Nobody else would join, but Poland will. And calling in Poland, well, I will have to give them whatever helm, for example, will be will be sufficient, I think. Now, but before we do that, um, I'm not sure how it works yet, but let's use this campaign to test it. I can set provinces of special interest, I think. A Livonian order? No, no, not Livonian order. I will set those provinces as special interest, as provinces that I want. Let's see if it changes anything in our, our relationship with Poland and the war. It doesn't. Now, what if I also mark a province from the Teutonic Order as such? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe if we, maybe if we do that, because I'm sure Poland will want that province as well. Maybe, I don't know. Um, maybe they will automatically transfer control of those provinces to us? I'm not sure. Let's see if Poland will still want to join us in the war. Mm, I mean, whether they will be as eager to. Yes. Okay, I need to be careful here, because I, for example, want Danzig. But Poland certainly wants Danzig as well. So if I mark it... I mean, I know I can unmark it, but... Uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if I mark all of the shores all of the coast. Also, um, let's have a look at the region map mode. Well, well, will that be? Region, region, region. We need all of the Baltic region, which is basically all of the Teutonic Order and half of Lithuania. So, we will basically have to fight Poland. At some point. Still, let's see if they are as eager to join our war now. They are just as eager to join our war now. All right, let's do it. Let's declare our war and see how it works. You know what, I will actually mark all those provinces as special interest. Maybe apart from Helmono, which is a Polish claim. I mean, I know I will have to fight them at some point, but that might as well be later on. So let's go back to marking provinces. Let's say I want those. What if I mark this? Let's see if it changes Poland's attitude. I know I can unmark it. It is still... They are still willing to do it. Okay, we'll see. Let's, let's declare war for now. And call Livonian order as co-belligerent. I will take as much as I can. And we are in negative stability, which is pretty bad. Let's try to get out of it as soon as possible. 
and I should probably try to run away with our armies because well we don't want to get crushed and we have fewer troops however well we have a 2 2 4 and they have they have no general so maybe if I attack first we'll be able to destroy them let's go down to speed 3 and see All right, um, how do I close this and see we have a huge advantage And they're running away. They are running away. Oh. They managed they managed to get crap. They managed to get a general. I thought they wouldn't. Okay, can I retreat? I actually can retreat. That was uh, pretty bad. Shouldn't have done that. Well, I wanted to risk it. Now, um, Lithuania and Poland should do all the work for us. I'll go up to speed 4. Wait, wait. Unhappiness among the artisans. Lose stability or lose money. None of those options are good, but I cannot afford to lose more stability. You guys, run away. 8th of March, 14th of March. 10th of March. Okay, I'm going to be defeated again. I hope they don't wipe my army, because that would be very, very problematic. Run away. Crap. They wiped my army. Well, that was a bad start. Let's see if we can survive this. Also, war exhaustion is huge. Okay, because they're blockading my only port. Yeah, I would actually prefer to have no port right now. Hmm. And we're still fabricating a claim. Lithuania doesn't have any claims here, which should mean they would transfer control to us. Since we have no armies, we can't do anything. Apart from possibly buying down war exhaustion, I will get to speed 5. Because we just wait for our allies to do their thing. Poland, how much do you like me? Oh, I have aggressive expan- Ah, right, no CB war, that's why I have aggressive expansion. Can I afford to- I don't think I can afford to buy down war exhaustion, because we will need those points for peace deals. Now, our garrison is not full because um, because we didn't have full maintenance, but it shouldn't really matter. I hope Lithuania will come here f quickly. Because otherwise, if they take my capital, I will get tons of war exhaustion, which could effectively cripple our nation. Uh, let's boost stability. Zero is the absolute minimum of stability that you can effectively play on. I mean, you, you can play in the negatives, but it's very, very bad. Oh, why do I have uh, full navy maintenance? I don't need that. Oh no, I do need that, because when my capital falls, that will possibly let my navy run away somewhere. Otherwise, we'll, otherwise we'll just lose it. Uh, right, the Teutonic Order is being occupied, but the Livonian isn't. Now, there's not much we can do. We are relying on our allies, so... Let's just wait and hope for the best. Okay, we're not getting any lands from the Teutonic Order. Maybe they will transfer them to us once we are, you know, connected. Lithuania is doing stupid shit. They should be helping us. We have improved our relations with Poland as much as we could. I'll do the same with Lithuania, just in case. Also, uh, also Denmark. Also Denmark. Because if they keep the Union, they will be a serious threat. Spy offense or gain prestige? I will gain prestige. And we have lost the Siege of Riga. This is a problem, because we're now fully occupied and our war exhaustion will skyrocket. However, I, I do hope that our allies will retake our capital very quickly. Lithuania, please do it. Please do it. Oops, they're losing. Oh, no, they're not. Please, please, retake my capital. Oh, Poland is doing it. Thank you very much. Now, our war exhaustion is up to seven, which is uh, atrocious. I will certainly try to buy it down when we can. But I do need those points for a peace deal as well. Come on. For progress. Come on. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, 
But we are winning the war, and this was actually transferred to us, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, all the Teutonic lands were not transferred to us. But all you really want is the Livonian. All those lands, uh, right. I can now buy down my mm, war exhaustion, but let's see how many diplo points I would have to pay if I wanted to annex the Livonian order. 171, which means I can buy down war exhaustion twice. And I will do so. Now, as soon as all of those forts are taken, we should be good to end the war. And now, even if I don't give Poland anything, they should not be angry at me if I don't take anything from the Teutonic Order. If I only separate piece the Livonian Order and take everything, they should be fine with that. See, if I just take those, right, let's see. Poland is angry because they're not getting stuff. But if I sign a separate peace with Livonian Order, which I am interested in, Poland doesn't give a crap. And then if I sign a peace treaty with the Teutonic Order, that's, for example, only cash, they don't give a crap either. Because they'll get some cash. So I could even give some, them some land, but the, the point is I don't need to. I can safely just go and annex the Livonian Order, provided I can survive the war exhaustion and shit. Because it is truly horrible. I will be able to buy it down once more. Uh, right. And this has been taken. I only need two more forts. And obviously we're not doing anything by, on, our, on our own. I'll even have to disable this fort because otherwise we will get into the negatives in terms of cash. And once those forts are occupied, they should accept my offer of annexation. I could even get all the money they have. I think. 174, that's 25. Okay, I can buy down War Exhaustion once more. Then we will have to sit, sit back and consolidate our power once we have annexed Livonian Order. But we will have a strong ally. Uh, lose prestige or lose ducats. 3.4 ducats is not that much, so I can afford to lose it. Oh, and we need to look to increasing our devotion, maybe by selecting our next heir when it's appropriate. Now, how are those sieges doing? This one is doing pretty poorly, but this one is almost over. Let's see if I can now enforce my peace deal. No, not yet. What's, what's the Polish war enthusiasm like? It's pretty high, so we don't have to worry about them pussying, uh, pussying out of the war. Alright, just take Reval and we will be annexing stuff. Again, I could take stuff from Poland, but I don't have to. Uh, for Poland, but I don't have to. Because, um, well, we are not, we will not be in control of the Teutonic lands anyway. Uh, so what we could do is either end the war by just taking some money from the Teutons, and annexing the Livonian order, and Poland will be happy with us. Or, what we could do is mm, annex all this land, get some troops, station one unit in each of those provinces, and wait for Poland to sign a separate peace, then take the rest of the land. That's a little bit mm, more exhausting. That's going all in, if you will. Could become troublesome in the future. Uh, right, we have call for peace. Really? That's going to wreck us again. But this siege is almost done, so we only need to wait for this one. Uh, right. And now we can take what we need. I will annex the Livonian Order and take all their cash. See? Lots of, um, lots of overextension, some across expansion. Let's go down to speed 2. See? No longer this small one province state. Now, Pskov would be a good next target, and so would Novgorod. I think Novgorod is the better pick, since we should be able to beat them on our own once we have rebuilt our nation. Now, the question is, what should we do with the Teutonic Order? Poland has very, very high enthusiasm. So it's not likely that they will want to sign a separate peace deal. So let's just sign a peace treaty and rebuild our nation. Now, uh, let's clear this. If I take nothing, they don't care. If I give them something, 
they gain some favors. We gain some favors with them. But if I just take money, they still like it. We get money. Can I get war reparations? No, war reparations count as taking something. Money doesn't count as taking something. See? Everything upsets Poland, apart from taking money and giving land to Poland. So what we're going to do is just take money. I know it's counterintuitive to not dismantle the Teutonic Order, but um, we don't really care right now. We are set. We have land. So, to reiterate, we get cash. And Poland is not mad at us. They don't have trust issues. They owe us some favors. They trust us, and it's all good. They love us, and we have a strong ally that will defend us. We also have some forts that will be draining our economy very soon, but it's not important. And we can actually set up rivals. I think I'll rival Teutonic Order and Novgorod, but first let's take care of our country. So, oh, we don't have a fleet, do we? Did my fleet get obliterated? I think so. Oh, crap. Nevertheless, we need to worry about uh, autonomy. Unfortunately, we have super, super high revolt risk in all of those provinces. We cannot manage any rebellions, so I will have to increase autonomy everywhere. This will damage our income significantly, but it doesn't matter as much as staying alive. Also, I will reduce war exhaustion as soon as I get some points, and I shall start making calls immediately. Mm, should we get stability to plus... Oh, crap, I should have increased stability to plus one before signing the peace deal. Because stability will actually help us with rebellions more than coring quickly. Let's start. Let's get stability to plus one. Sort them by overextension. Is it proportional? Yeah, yeah, it's proportional. Let's start with the highest cost ones. And hope for no rebellions. Uh, right. What? Poland broke their alliance with us. Why? Why did you do that? Oh, provinces of vital interest. Right. Uh, what if I... Yeah, th th this was a mistake. Provinces of vital interest and stuff. So what if I cancel that now and try to redo the alliance? Nine provinces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's cancel that. I don't care about that. Poland, you can have them for now. Do you want to redo our alliance? Yes, you do. Hello again. See, that's, it's that easy. So I'm not sure what benefit there is to actually setting provinces as vital interest. Um, I actually tried this once before, but didn't finish the war, just saw if Poland would accept, and then I didn't set the provinces of vital interest, and Lithuania occupied those for themselves, but they also had claims, so I don't know if it's actually connected. I suppose we'll see in time. Also, I will need to increase my devotion periodically. Okay, and that will be it for the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We did upset some people with aggressive expansion, but we will have to expand quite a bit more. Um, we are mostly interested in this land, not this land over here, but we will need to build a power base to challenge Poland. And to do that, I'll need to conquer Novgorod. Right, that'll be it, about it for now. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and as it is the first one in the series, uh, be sure to click the like button if you want to see more of that. And I will see you in the next episode quite soon. Goodbye!